Did you know that in India, one person gets tuberculosis every 11 seconds and two patients die of tuberculosis every three minutes. Hello, my name is Dr. Kamran Ali and I'm a principal consultant in thoracic surgery and lung transplant at Max Super Specialty Hospital, Sake. Lung tuberculosis is generally treated by physicians with medicines, which are known as anti-tuberculous medicines. But there are certain special situations where a thoracic surgeon may be called upon to treat the patient of lung tuberculosis. The situations in which thoracic surgery is required for lung TB are as follows. Number one, tuberculous empyma. Empyma means the collection of pus outside lungs, which causes the lung to collapse and a thick layer forms around the lungs which entraps the lungs and prevents it from expanding. A thoracic surgeon goes in and does a surgery called decortication which removes the peel outside the lung and helps the lung to re-expand. The second situation is called post-TB bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis means dilatation and thickening of the airways of the lungs. This leads to recurrent chest infections and often hemoptysis. If it's localized and not responding to medical management, uh, the treatment is surgical. You resect the part where bronchiectasis is and the patient gets cured. The third situation is called an aspergilloma or a fungal ball. Patients with lung tuberculosis often have empty spaces or cavities inside their lungs. Now when we breathe, we can take in a fungus called the aspergillus inside these cavities. These aspergillus species of fungus may form a ball inside those cavities which may eventually lead to recurrent and massive hemoptysis, which means blood and cough. The treatment of this situation is antifungal medicine plus resection of the part of the lung that is involved with the aspergilloma. The fourth situation is called a destroyed lung. A destroyed lung is a 100% completely damaged lung, which is irreversible. And the only treatment for this scenario is a pneumonectomy which means complete removal of one lung which is destroyed. This leads to improvement of symptoms. Patient does not get frequent LRTIs, the hemoptysis stops and the shortness of breath also improves because the VQ mismatch also improves. The last situation is a rarer situation called tracheobronchial stenosis where there is narrowing or uh, stenosis of the airways of the lung. Now when the airways narrow, air cannot go inside the lungs and there is pneumonia and consolidation and many other problems. So a thoracic surgeon can go in and do a bronchoplasty or a sleeve resection or rarely a lobectomy or a pneumonectomy to cure the patient of tracheobronchial stenosis. So if you're diagnosed with pulmonary tuberculosis, it's important to take the anti-TB medicines because majority of the patients will completely heal with those medicines and you would not have to see a thoracic surgeon. But if your symptoms persist and you have complications, please consult a thoracic surgeon nearby to get yourself treated. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.